Russia's defense ministry has released images showing the aftermath of airstrikes believed to have killed the leader of Islamic State, Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi. The pictures show how an ISIL command center near the Syrian city of Raqqa looked before the Russian airstrikes and afterwards. The assault is believed to have killed up to 30 ISIL commanders and hundreds of fighters at the terror group's so-called military council. Officials are still verifying reports of al-Baghdadi's death. As yet, there's been no official confirmation. Of course I heard reports on the elimination of al-Baghdadi, but I still have no 100% confirmation of this. The U.S. also says it's not been able to confirm the death of the head of the terror group either. Ilya Petranka joined Kevin in the studio earlier with more details. At the end of May, uh, the Russian army uh, got hold of intelligence pointing to a big get-together of Islamic State commanders to discuss plans, how they can retreat, how uh, can they flee the city. We got to look at Raqqa here. This is the de facto Islamic State capital that's been under the siege by the coalition forces for a while now. And the only way to retreat from that city for the jihadists is to the south. Now, and after using drones to examine the location, the Russian Air Force carried out a major airstrike in which they say 30 ISIL commanders were destroyed and also as many as 300 fighters killed. Now, if it is proved three weeks almost uh, since that al-Baghdadi was also there, of course, that is going to be big news. We still got to be really careful about this because we do have to remember that al-Baghdadi is ISIL's most important man. And since 2011, he's had a huge bounty on his head. In particular, the Americans were offering $25 million for any information on the whereabouts, any kind of data that could lead to his capture or death. We asked award-winning world affairs journalist Martin Jay how al-Baghdadi's killing, if it's confirmed, would impact the fight against the extremist group. ISIL has changed quite dramatically in the last couple of years. Yes, you have, if you've killed um, him, you have removed the head of the caliphate, the so-called Islamic State, which should have an impact. But um, the Islamic State, as we know it, which stretched across Syria and into parts of Iraq, no longer exists anymore as Mosul is the last outpost there in Iraq to be taken. So I think, um, I think the, the, the impact will actually be limited in, in towards um, how the group goes about its bases. It's spread very thinly and it's expanding.